Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. This is just a follow-up video to the recent Atomis with Metal Slug 6 Dreamcast port to help you understand how to change button assignments and basic game settings. The process should be roughly the same for future Atomis with ports, since according to the developer creating these ports is basically going to be the exact same thing. The process itself is a little bit involved, but at the same time, it will not be too hard. So let's get started. Now all the links you're going to need are going to be listed in the description below. So that's the main reason why I'm not going to get into that within the video. The very first thing that you need to do is to open the DMule uh, link and just download the latest version. Just click latest version and then click download. Once you have that downloaded, go to the second website, prizecom.net, and for this one just uh, scroll down until you find the downloads section. Once you get there, the latest version should be the same at the top. It's just the latest beta version. Just click on that zip file and download it to your desktop. Once you have those two downloaded, you will also need to find a copy of the Atomis Wave BIOS and also the Metal Slug 6 ROM file for the Atomis Wave hardware. I assume you also have the Metal Slug 6 GDI file for your Sega Dreamcast, so you will also need that. And you will also need to download the config file that I left in the description below as well. Once you have all the files ready, just uh, Create a new folder for your desktop. I mean, it's just to keep things organized. You don't really need to do it this way, but I like to do it like this. And it will be easier for you to follow if you would do it the same way. So open your temp folder and then extract the DMule emulator uh, folder right here. Open that uh, folder and then create a ROMs folder. and then copy the Atomis Wave uh, BIOS file and also the Metal Slug 6 ROM file for the Atomis Wave hardware. Go up one level and then create an NVRAM folder. And here you just need to extract the config file that I left in the description below. So just extract both files there and you should be ready to go for now. At this point just run the dmule.exe file which is the emulator itself and the very first time that you open the emulator you will get this prompt and once you click OK you will get this dialog file. Uh, here you don't really need to change any settings at all. Just click OK and you should get the, um, the emulator up and running now. Go into the file menu and click Run Atomis Wave. Now find the Metal Slug 6 uh, game within the list and then just click OK and you should get the ROM running at this point. Once you have the game started, go into the config menu uh, and then go into controls and assign your buttons. So the D-pad should be self-explanatory. And as for the buttons, uh, one should be your A button, two should be your B button, three should be X button, four should be Y, and five should be normally the left trigger. The start should be also self-explanatory. So this is just to keep it consistent to the Dreamcast controller. Uh, right now I'm using just an Xbox 360 controller, so that's the, the way that I like to set it up. Now under system board you need to assign a service button. For this you can assign whatever button you want since this is just a specific, a specific to the ROM file itself. 
and then a, a test button. And then click OK. Now I'm going to rise the resolution just to make it easier for you to, to watch the video, but you don't really need to, to change this at all. Now, once you have this, press the same button that you assigned the test button, and it should get you into the service menu. Here, as you can see at the bottom, you will need to use the service button, basically to, to switch selections, and then you need to use the test button to actually make your selections. Or actually the other way around, I'm sorry. Test should be to change your selection and service should be to actually enter your selections. Now I already have this set up, so you don't really need to change anything if you want to keep my settings, but if you want to actually change the, the settings then it's really up to you. What's really important to you um, is basically to go into the game settings and here's where you can change the, the amount of lives the difficulty settings, the timer, and also if you want to allow continues or not. But more importantly, the, the button configurations. Here is the only menu where you can use the D-pad to navigate up and down. And basically, you just need to press whatever button you want to assign here. So just press you know the buttons you want to assign in whatever way you want. I already have it set up uh, this way for one, two, uh, three, and five. And this is going to be basically um, X on my Dreamcast is going to be my action button. A on my Dreamcast is going to be jump. B on my Dreamcast is going to be grenades. Y is going to be the button to change weapons. And then the, the L button is just going to be the, the special action. And I assigned both players the same way and once I have it done then I just uh, you know save and exit and here you just need to exit again and then exit one more time once you have all that done just go to the file menu hit stop and then close the emulator altogether now open your temp folder again and now you need to extract the Metal Slug 6 GDI image file. Now go into the Emule emulator, go into the NVRAM folder, and then copy the MSLog6.sram file. Then go back into your GDI or you know game image file and then paste the SRAM file there and now extract the DD file that we downloaded at the beginning just open that zip file and then extract dd.exe file there go up one level press and hold the shift key on your keyboard and then press the right button on your mouse and from the context menu, just select open command window here, and this will open the command prompt. Now you will need to copy and paste the command that I left in the description below. Paste it there, hit enter. You should get the exact same results as I'm getting here. And that should get your game patch. Now just go back into your Metal Slug 6 uh, GDI file, you no longer need the dd.exe file nor the sram file so you can delete those two. And at this point you can just copy this into your SD card or your SSD hard drive for your whatever ODE you have, either the Terra Onion mode, the GDE MU or USB GD ROM. Just copy you know, the entire game, the entire folder with the game and you can go ahead and test it out which is what I'm going to do now. All right, so now we're ready to test our buttons. Start is obviously going to remain the same, but now our action button is going to be X. 
So that's exactly what we want to use to select our character and just enter any selection. And as we can see, X is going to be used now to shoot your weapon, A is going to be used to jump, and B is going to be your grenades. Y is also going to be used to change weapons, but since we don't have any other weapons now, then, you know, it's just, <laughs> we, we cannot really test it. But I have already tested that before doing the video, so it works. So that's basically it for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And see you soon. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.